Hello everyone. In this video, I will be going through how to do simulations for Naga 0012 airfoil and it is going to be a 2D simulation. So I will be creating a series of videos where I will be explaining the simulation for Naga 0012 airfoil from beginning till end. So the first video will be where I will be explaining how to get the coordinates of Naka 0012 airfoil. Then the second video will be based on how to create the geometry using those coordinates. Third video where we will be doing meshing. Fourth video will be running the simulations. And the last video will be analyzing the results by creating some contours and plots. So let's get started. So the first thing which we have to do in order to simulate Naka 0012 airfoil is get the coordinates of the airfoil. So how in order to do that, what you will do, you will open your web browser and you will search for airfoil tools. So when you search for airfoil tools, you will get this website www.airfoiltools.com. So just click on that website and then in that website either you can go for airfoil plotter and you can see here in this airfoil option you will get a lot of airfoils you can search for whichever you are simulating whether it is 0012 airfoil or any other thing or if you want you can also go to NACA four digit airfoil generator and here also you can enter your airfoil properties to get the coordinates of the airfoil. So in this tutorial, I will be simulating Naka 0012 airfoil. So for Naka 0012 airfoil, maximum chamber percent should be 0, chamber position should be 0 and thickness should be 1 to. And make sure you specify the number of points, how many number of points you want. So like in this case, I want 200 and make sure you click on this cosine spacing so that you get better resolution on the leading edge of the airfoil or near the nose of the airfoil. And make sure you click on this close trailing edge as well so that the your airfoil will be a closed curve. Once that is done, just click on plot. So you can see I got the plot for Naka 0012 airfoil and these are all the coordinates of my airfoil. So what you have to do, you have to just copy it using control C, then go to Excel and then paste it control V. Now if you see, here all the values has been posted in one column, but I want these to be distributed into two different columns. So in order to do that, what you will do, you will go to data and then you will click on this option text two columns. So make sure this thing is uh, selected delimit, then go to next and then click on tab and space and then click on next and then click on finish. So you can see now I have two different columns. The left column represents my X coordinate and Y columns represent my Y. Next third column represents my Y coordinate of the airfoil. And these two, we will just we will just cut and paste it. like this. Okay. Now, if you want to read the coordinates of any curve in ANSYS fluid, your file should consist of five columns. So, but if you see here, we have just two columns. So what are other three columns? Let us try to understand. So let me insert one more column here. So your first column should represent the number of curves. So let me explain you what does I, I mean by that. So for example, let's say you have a geometry like this. 
so if you want you can convert this end geometry into different curve so let's say this is my first curve this is my second curve this is my third curve this is my fourth curve so in this case i have divided my geometry into four different curves but let's say you have a geometry let's say air foil so if you want you can convert this geometry also into different different curve or if you want you can just keep it as one single curve so remember the first column should represent how many number of curves you are dividing your geometry into so in our case we will just keep one single curve for the airfoil so there will be just one curve so the numbers in my first column will be just one so i will press one and i want the same number for all the columns so just double click so just drag and drop here you will get it like this so you can see we got one for the first column the second column represents the number of points so how many points you have in that curve so we have in total of 200 points then double click it so you can see i got all the 200 points now one more thing which you have to make sure is if you remember i told you that the air file should be closed now how ansys will get to know that air file is closed so first thing is your x y and z coordinate for the first row and x y z coordinate for the last row need to be same so they are same in this case on the top of that this number should be zero so make sure this second column number should be zero and all the x y z coordinate for first and last column should be same first and last row should be same so that nc student will get to know that yes it is a closed curve and in the last column you have to mention the z coordinate so since we are simulating a 2d air foil so our z coordinate will be zero so all the columns will be zero so just double click it so you can see all the column values are zero so now i now i got all the x y and z all the x y and z coordinates so after this what i have to do is i have to just copy and paste it in the notepad why we are doing this in the notepad because we want a text file and this student can only read the text files of the coordinates so that's why we are converting it into a text file if you want you can convert your text file in excel also but sometimes it gives you an error so now i want to save this file so what i will do i will click on file save as and i have already created one folder in my desktop named as tutorial for this video so i will be saving all my files in this tutorial and uh, the name of the file is let's say naka 0012 coordinates and make sure whenever you are saving this text file you convert your encoding from utf8 to nc because if it is not nc again your nc fluent won't able to read the text file and it will create an error so let me create save so you can see now my file has been saved so let me go back to that folder again to confirm that yes it has been saved so you can see this file has been saved now in the next video we will be reading this text file and we will be creating the geometry thank you